Today we're going to be reviewing a person who's gotten rank 1 at 17 years old named Munchlax LOL. He has an article on him and he did an AMA that got recently removed. I don't know why, but basically this person has hit rank 1, 1100 LP at the age of 17. And here he has his own YouTube channel, which I'll link in the description below, as well as his Twitch. And we're going to see how he plays well, League of Legends and see when he, what he does. All right, so I faced him. I've actually faced him before, and well, let's say he's pretty good. He's consistent. Um, in his AMA, I did I did see that he says he tries to get resources where he can and tries to basically get all of them. Um, and he doesn't make stupid plays. Oh, what's that? That's Ari. Is that the faker thing? Okay, whatever. Anyways, there goes my ADHD. He's playing Graves with Dark Harvest at the moment. It's going to be on his Challenger account. Sudden Impact, Eyeball Collection, Trevor, Treasure Hunter, Alacrity, and Triumph. Welcome to Ring. So, wait, he didn't buy... Wait, he's AFK level 1. I'm like, wait, what? He didn't buy anything. He uh, has a screen up here. He's finally back here. He a Interestingly enough, he AFK is level 1 at... Uh, on his on his rank one account but you know i guess level one doesn't matter that much and so does syndra this is a pretty high elo game by the way you got geiger rank one timo uh young fappy and yes let's see what he does level one and what kind of path thing is he gonna do minions have spawned it seems like he's gonna be starting Resolve Tree and Badger L plus Bozo plus good luck, have fun. Oh, he stole his Teemo. That's what's going on here. Okay, so he's gonna be starting red buff. Will he there's two paths that I see Graves going. Maybe he goes red buff into enemy jungle and then like cheeses him, but I don't think this guy cheeses to be honest. He plays something consistent. Oh, he goes for this. Chickens first. We'll be going to uh golems. I don't know if he'll be going to golems. Cause that that's like the you know get your camps reset or are we doing red buff let's see oh he is going golems he doesn't go for the wall though i'm surprised let's see boop boop we're gonna be doing golems first um i don't believe he'll do a level two gank without red buff that sounds stupid he doesn't smite this at all he's gonna save a smite for the red buff which is smart if he gets invaded by who Let's see what happens. Oh, he presses Q before he autos. I thought he'd auto Q, but he actually just Q'd instead. I don't know if that's optimal or not, but. And that should die, right? Unless there's the, he gets two points Q. Okay. So sometimes the pet bugs out if you're like really far away. This guy actually doesn't have a point of smoke tree and he goes two points Q and he goes for full clear because he wants to get fed as hell and get level four as fast as possible, get himself you know, very powerful. But there's actually nothing to gank. What am I talking about? He's not going to plan to... He's actually not planning to gank anything at all. He, he pings his teammate to actually ward or like get vision of enemy blue side because he knows that they're playing way too far up without... You know, well, they have one ward, but there's a possibility they might get ganked. That's the only really way of dying. They're also a double AP bot lane. I didn't know that. Clear is going to be around 3.30. Oh. A death just happened, huh? He must have landed stun on, on Syndra. Okay, he's going for a little gank. Can oh, actually because he's given his position away. Will he recall? Probably. Where's he going? Try me. Oh wait, he doesn't have timers. I just realized that. I just realized he doesn't have timers. He's going to be waiting. Oh my god, he didn't reset. I think. Okay. Optimally. He could have actually did top crab, recalled, got some items, and then went to chickens. That's that's like optimal strat. 
but he doesn't do it maybe he's trying to get Caulfield Warhammer and he's gonna recall after this let's see I don't know what he's actually gonna get I do believe he's gonna rush a ghost blade is there any gank here it doesn't look like it we've seen Agrin playstyle so far here's a recall 1100 gold let's see what he buys is it that's probably a Dirk that's why Dirk uh vision ward oh Dirk boots Oh my god, it was Dirk Dirk Vision Ward. It goes for Dirk. That's why he was not recalling get like a pickaxe or whatever. He was waiting for the Dirk spike so he can fight people. And his cap should be up. Oh, that took a while. Oh, this is a very I was gonna say herbivore. Okay, this is kind of herbivore playstyle. Agrin playstyle. But that seems like the strategy you get rank 1 is just to farm, right? There also isn't too much setup, gank setup. He knows that Viego's pathing bot lane. Um, so he pings it, helps his teammates to know that's happening. Overall, this, this, this game feels very slow. Especially for like a challenger game. TF wants... He... Okay, I know what's going on. He, uh, he's pinging... For his teammates that tf is six not relying that his his rise his stupid rise isn't pinging anything he's he's basically pl uh pinging every play that he sees that could be happening yeah he's pinging every play that's happening basically he has smite up he doesn't smite this i'm surprised i usually smite on two charges because you want one to be on cooldown but i guess he's saving it for something He's picking every play that could possibly happen. Yeah. This, this, this rise is not that good. I'll, I'm going to tell you that. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, what the f Wait, how do you get Dark Harvest Rock? I thought he was dead. Anyways, I don't know. I don't know how he got the heart. Or maybe, oh, whatever. Anyways, his rise isn't that good because he just saw a dragon, like, just taken, and he somehow got ganked, which uh, doesn't make any sense. You have about 10 to 15 seconds to play passively um, after they take an objective, and I don't think they'll be in your lane. They do have a gank window, and it's about 5 to 10 seconds, but uh, I guess the rise stayed for those 5 to 10 seconds and got ganked. You can tell his this game is looking a little rusty for his team. His bot lane died once, his mid lane died, and he only, he only has a kill, but let's see if he can 1v9. Ping. His tracking is actually probably really good. He knows that if he's on red buff, he knows where enemy team is. I mean, jungler is at least doing like a really linear, linear clear path, right? So he's pinging every play that's happening, which I don't think he said in his AMA or anything, but that's a, uh, yeah, he's just tracking everything that could happen, which means he's very team player oriented and knows what's going to happen next. I do mention that he used to be diamond two and then just one season he just said okay I'm going for rank one and decided he got rank one and in just 250 games he got rank one I think he said in his AMA he decided that he could uh he was gonna climb what's this is this gonna I don't know. Oh, he's going for a dive? Okay. Let's see what happens. Oh. Well... I'm gonna be honest. I actually okay. What are you the Quinn says we cannot. 
Okay, uh, this is my opinion. So what happens on that gank is he smoke screens the guy blinding. Always trouble. He smoke screens the blind, and then the team will can't do anything. He blinds the Graves, but also he should be probably blinding the Quinn. He has no flash. Quinn has Ignite. They should absolutely do that dive. I, I do believe. I see what he means. He doesn't need autos to actually kill the Teemo. He just needs to... Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. Yeah, he just needs to um, just have Quinn burst. Even though I think the Quinn doesn't want to do it because he has blind, which couldn't could make a lot of sense. He's counter jungling, he knows the enemy was bot side. He's actually no, he's he was about to go and ditch the camp just for that gank. Huh? Dashes. He actually uh, queues up the dash. Queues up the dash into the gold card, so he's actually doing something while stunned. He's gonna take all of this. Are they gonna contest? I believe they could. They have Nami here. Now he just needs the support of his teammates, which uh, Quinn is gonna do. I don't believe uh, Nami needs to be here anymore. Looks like a fight is about to happen. There's no TF though. I think Nami should go now. I don't need him. There's no way this is happening, right? Like, it's like, I don't know, his rise. Okay, I gotta look up this. I have to look up his rise elo because he's actually not that good. What, what is he? He like dies to every gank that's been pinged. Oh, he's master tier. Oh. He's not that good. He's just master tier. Never mind. Makes sense. Okay, so it's a new dragon. I'll see. Yeah, a master tier. Okay, so dude has 112 CS, two kills. Um, he's the only one with kills, by the way. So it's up to him to actually carry this game. And he's got 2,600 gold. Nami just walked into that one. Okay, like, I don't know if I picked the right VOD, but... Uh, what is going on in this game? Is he going Mercs? Oh my god, he bought everything. Ghost playing out of base. How does he how does he make this game like work? I'm so confused. This game looks awful. His, his only winning lane is Aki Quinn. Unfortunately, yeah, everyone's getting smoked. His, his mid laner is like actually really bad. He needs the Nami to actually just fall on perma. Whoa. Oh, I didn't know you could get here. <laughs> I didn't know you could get here. There's a play on mid lane. Let's see if he goes for it. Oh, he didn't smite the... He didn't smite the camp. I would have actually smited the camp. Yeah, he has to basically make plays on his own or... And Nami, Nami basically following him is good because she, he's the most fed member. I would have smited the camp. I don't know. Seemed like the... Cool thing to do, you get hit point. Blah, 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 blah. Here comes the big play. Alright, they're all dead actually. Quinn, let's go. He should live. Oh my god, he's dashing in. Gets the bounty on Nami. He dashed in because. Okay. Interestingly enough, he dashes in, but it's actually good because he's trying to make the enemy committed. What the hell? He's trying to make the enemy commit to...
to like you know trading one for one which is good to get back into the game um yeah Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like him being very aggressive while behind. I think it's really good. Whoa. Yeah, being really aggressive, taking whatever fight you can. And trying to outplay or trade one for one gets you back into these games. Now the game is somehow 6 and 13 is looking quite decent. He wants Mikhail's. Is he going to go Mercs? Dude, his, his, his ADC and his mid lane are actually so bad. I'm not going to lie. Can't reach. That sucks. He has red smite, right? Yeah, he has red smite and red buff. One speed up. Nah, he's not going to get it. Oh, whoa. Okay, not me. Okay. Yeah, he's being hyper aggressive and it seems like he can 1v9 this. Making a pick anywhere he can. Okay, so that was just an auto, auto Q, auto dead. <laughs> Three autos, Q dead. Five hundred gold split between his team, looking good. Giving dragon because they can't contest. They should get top tier. They're splitting the map. Yep. Okay, actually his top lane is pretty smart. And they're actually going for tier two while they give dragon. Big play. Big play. Um. You need to cover mid. Someone needs to cover bot if they start pushing. Is he gonna summon it right now? Oh my god, this guy's dead, no? Rise. Nice rise alt. Whew. This rise is horrid. Lives. Can't push anymore. I mean, they could force it. But I guess he sees that something else is happening on like they're all recalling after dragon covering top. He knows the play. He knows exactly what the enemies are about to do next. So if you hit that EQ. Oh, okay. Okay, there Zaya is not too smart. <laughs> okay, Zaya. Oh. Uh oh, someone's got Merc treads. Oh, they're hitting the mid turret. Uh oh, this game has bounced back. Uh oh, Quinn gets in there. Putting as much DPS as he can. Lots of tempo, lots of tempo. Game's starting to smarten up. Uh oh. Uh oh, Cinder lands that. His mid and ADC are really bad, but they're finally coming online, doing things that they should be able to be doing. Ward there, Nami's following the jungler. I don't know, this Nami's pretty smart. I don't, I believe she's just only master tier, but she's smart. Like she knows how to win the game. I don't get it. What? I don't know where he went. Is he gonna buy pink ward? Pink ward? There it is, pink ward buy. Is he actually going? I don't get what? Where was he the whole time? He swept and I don't know. 
He sees the play. He's going to counter play. Oh. <laughs> oh. He thought he wasn't looking. Hey. Hey, what the fuck? Oh, too aggressive. 500 bounty gone. Oh, at least it's to Zareth. At least it's to Zareth. He actually can get more MR if he really wants to carry. Since his E. I believe he might get Ma. Let's see. I think he might go LDR, but I don't think so. There's like no armor to penetrate. They're all squishy. Just survivability. Timo. TF. Oh, red buff is actually gone. I don't know who took it. So he tells his team he, he has to the group five man. I mean, it's to be here. There he goes to play. He's not getting caught by TF or any trap. What the heck? Someone, he thinks someone's gonna face check. Uh, trap is gone. Think of Graves like Kha'Zix. Yeah, why play Graves when you can play, or why play Kha'Zix when you can play Graves? Same champion, basically. He's not in the bush. He's not in the bush. Oh God, he's not in the bush. That's a kill, right? Ooh. Nice McKyles. Somehow his team is winning this. His team is actually winning this. Oh boy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Rise is smurfing. Rise went from master tier to grandmaster to challenger already. Just after that play. Whoa. Whoa, 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 Nami going a bit aggressive. Let's see what they can do here. This is third or fourth dragon. No, actually it's third, I think, for enemy team. Cinder coming in to help assist. Cinder should be tanking. Nice, Cinder. And what the fuck? They should not do that. Yep, yeah, he knows not to. Always oh, taking every ward. This T Whoa, he might. Oh, he's not even committing. I thought he was going to one shot the TF. Ooh, I like this play. Instead of them going, instead of him recalling and going to give up tempo on the map, he knows exactly what the enemy's team is doing. He, they're all going to dragon. He's going to set up a play up top with the Baron push. TF might port here. Maybe he could have baited the TF port just to get his ult off the map and then that's good enough. Going to get the golem before he leaves. But he does have his Nami. They could all three man, four man kill him, but. Ma, is he going Ma? Is he. What's he doing? Irk. I think he's gonna go Edge. Oh my god, he's going Pot. Because he knows this next fight is really important. If they can win it, he'll just. Well, the Pot's worth it, right? They still have Tempo on the map. I think pot, the, the meta for Pot before an important fight is really good. <laughs> Oh, pop the pop before killing. Ooh, TF found something. He's, oh my goodness, what is going on? Hey, where's my Mikhail's? 
Oh my god, he's two-shotting everyone. He is two-shotting everything. He's zoning the enemy from, you know, doing whatever they want. He's just face-taking them. He's got a Nami enchanter. No one can kill him. The Merc Church is coming online. Nami. Oh. Rampage. I don't know how this Nami killed the Teemo with just an ult. But yeah, props to Nami for following the graves and knowing his, her win con. I, I don't know. I don't think she's Chally or Grandmaster. But she is playing at Grandmaster level. There's some weird initiations. That's fine. Or some weird no <laughs> waves. Ults. His mentals there. Another rise of 736. After dodging every single gank, just kidding. He's finally online taking cold control of the map with his graves. Set up a trap. Here's a trap. Plays really aggressively. No one's coming. Oh my god. 1500 crit. What? Well, it seems kind of difficult role if no one knows what they're doing and he's got to communicate everything. <laughs> There's the rise split push. Huh? How'd that miss? Wait, who died? It was Syndra? Hey, they used so much for, for 2 and 10 Syndra. Yeah. You know their mid laner, their jungler, their top laner, our challenger. I think their bot lane is actually master, grandmaster. And the only one who's good is on his team is his top lane, like in terms of challenger. So it's a like two challenger versus three challenger. And this Nami is actually performing. I don't know who he is. Yo, did this guy just grief? Yeah, I kind of went in and got tried to get a reset. There's too much damage. Boom. I don't understand how that missed. Are they going to siege? I don't think they can. He just used his gold. I think he, what he saw was he just used his gold card, so he has a window to go in. Oh, okay. Holy crap, the Sindra just loves going in. She loves going in. 1500 crit. My Dark Harvest. Dark Harvest Graves, what else would you go? Fleet, who cares, he has infinite to sustain. Yeah, I guess every room kind of sucks. First strike, hmm. Maybe not. I can see why he goes that. Wait, I want to try Halo Blades Graves. That sounds kind of fun. I don't know, I want to see, I'm, I think... <laughs> I need to try in a training mode. Maybe there's like a hidden tech. But he's been out for like seven years, so someone probably already knows. Is he gonna dash in? Getting those grit stacks. He's not dashing over the wall. 
poking them. One eighty crit. Ouch. That was the enemy's kill window. They're not going to go for it, and they lost the game. I think if they actually should have actually tried to kill him there. I think they actually should have killed them there. And that was their only play, but I guess, uh, yeah. We could do that. Gets hit, gets Mikhailed. Oh god, TF card. TF card gonna hit him. Ooh, has to flash. Oh my god, why is this game going to keep going? Oh my god. Is he going RFC? <laughs> RFC, there it is. He's doing it. I, I knew he was going to do it. I knew he was going to do it. And the gold is perfect for him to do it. Um. Oh, here comes the 2 and 12 Syndra TP. I don't know. Oh my god. What did I do? He's trying to look for a pick, basically. Oh, nah, nothing. He's looking for a pick. No, I mean, can help pick. It's like two auto, someone dies. Come on. No crit though. Oh, he doesn't have LDR. Got. He's looking for a pick. With my call, Nami is easy. They, he gets caught out. And he has ult. Can't dash in, TF is there. He was just doing that for poke. We might die here. Where's Nami? Hello. What was Nami doing? I believe that was a Nami diff. Ooh. Ooh. This guy thinks he's faker. He didn't use flash that fight. I don't know why. Hmm. I don't know what Syndro is doing. I actually don't know what she was doing. Looking at items. Yo, that that <laughs> that Zaya has four items, but she has no LDR. Uh, I mean, I guess she doesn't need it into graves. It's the, like everyone else is squishy. And no one's building armor, but everyone's getting like 120 armor just off levels. It's gonna go ahead buff Hemtech into try and end. Okay, third seize, let's see it. Oh my god. And game's over. Game's over. Uh oh. Oh, he's chasing him down. Oh my god. Okay, they won. Quinn. Oh, it was just Rise Ult. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Check out his. Twitch, YouTube, all that stuff. I guess he doesn't commentate it yet, but he will. Thank you for watching. Oh my god, he's more LP than I thought. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.